The Canadian Minister of Foreign Affairs just literally walked inside for their afternoon meeting here. The talks have certainly soured, uh, in part because of the issues, but also because of this report you're referring to. The Toronto Star is reporting off-the-record remarks to Bloomberg by the President of the United States, where he said he would not compromise with Canada, but he can't say that publicly because it would be too insulting. Now, officially, the White House will not confirm the remarks, but they are saying that their negotiators are working for a win-win deal. Christia Freeland the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Canada says that they're not there, they're not there yet. We are committed, speaking for Canada, uh, to a deal which is a good deal for Canada, not just any deal. We are very good as Canadians at finding win-win compromises. At the end of the day, though, we are only going to sign a deal that's good for Canada. Now, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said today that uh, they are not going to sign a bad deal, he says, and no deal is better than a bad deal. The sticking point is around the dispute resolution part of this. It was removed in the Mexican agreement with the U.S. The Canadians want it back. They are a big user of that. Also, the dairy tariffs, that is a big deal for, as you know, the president. He has brought that up numerous times. This is something that the White House is saying that the uh, Canadians are not going to negotiate on. This is something uh, that they... The, the the U.S. negotiators would like to see removed uh, uh, from the NAFTA to go to zero tariffs to help our farmers. Molly? Uh, Edward, before I let you go, this is a fascinating story about off-the-record remarks, uh, particularly from the president, possibly snarling uh, major negotiations that have a big impact, something that he talked about doing on the campaign trail. This was one of his goals, to get a new trade deal worked out with Mexico, with Canada. He has the deal, uh, preliminarily at least, it seems worked out with Mexico, and Canada was what they wanted to see happen on this Friday. Does it seem that when you do you get any sense uh, from the Canadians there on the ground that this will be a major sticking point or this is something that they can get past? Oh, no, this is a major sticking point. And up to today, the tone was more conciliatory, saying they could come to an agreement. Starting today, going forward, uh, you know, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing the tone change. You can see uh, she's more tense, the uh, chief the Canadian negotiator, as she goes in. So the tone has definitely changed here. Will a deal come today? You know, it doesn't look like it at this point, although they are still working on this uh, back and forth. Now, the president has given a deadline today. The deadline is actually tomorrow. Uh, I am told from sources that if the letter comes tomorrow, it can still make the deadline of having the current Mexican president sign it by December 1st. That has been the goal on this. Uh, if the new Mexican administration comes in, they're concerned that the new Mexican president will not sign this deal, which is the reason we're trying to get it done so quickly. All right, Edward Lawrence, thank you so much for your reporting there. We're talking, uh, giving us a little insight there into the, pol the politics uh, that could be coming down the road and what, some of what the Trump administration is trying to do to avoid any political snafus some 90 potential days from now.